Parade Marshal Kenneth McDonald leading the horses postward, race number two, the second half of the Daily Double. First leg of the night's pick three. Phillies racing one mile, a purchase of $2,000. Number one is favorite Madame on Badan, Huddleston, and Fred Poole of Chillicothe, Ryan Holtena. Two is Jates, Happy, owned by Gene Molino and Don Swick of Florida with Don Swick. Three to-dos, Treasured, owned by Edward Pasky and Laura Lamond of Nicholasville, Kentucky. Roger Culliford drives. Four is Nippy, Hanover, owned by Iris Harwitz of New York with Debbie Runkert. Five is Queenship, owned by J.D. Burnett of Wilmington, Chip Nobola. Number six, Primonetta, owned by Polly Stent Computer Apps and Charles Stein for Dan Ader. Seven, Avitress, owned by the Bay and Stables of Wilmington, Jeff Daly in the buy. And the eight, Bikini Bird, laced by Craig Parker of Columbus, Gary DeBoard in the Sonke. One place show perfected pick three wagering. Post time in eight minutes, eight minutes to post. Second race, pacing fillets, moving in behind the gate. There they go. And they're off from the outside. Avitress quickly moving for the lead off the rail. It's Favorite Madam, but she goes on a break. Favorite Madam is off stride. And from the outside comes Primanetta. From the inside of three, it's Jates Happy. Outside of fourth, Bikini Bird along the rail five. It's Tudor's Treasure. Then it's two lengths, sixth to Nippy Hanover. Along the rail racing is seventh comes Queen Ship. That leaves the trailer. Favorite Madam back on stride. Reaching the first quarter mile marker at the first stop in 31 and a four fifths. A very soft quarter here and on the outside, Jates Happy now making the move to take the lead and it's Jates Happy with the lead. But on the outside, Tudor's Treasure looking to take that lead away and here comes Tudor's Treasure sprinting quickly to the front end. Jates Happy on the inside is second, then comes Avitris third, inside fourth, the Primanetta, two lengths, racing five. Nippy Hinover followed sixth by heavily favored Queenship. On the rail in seventh, as they approach the half, favorite Madame the Trailer now, Bikini Bird. At the half on 102, and with the lead, it's Tudor's Treasure, the Ohio bred filly, at 50 to 1, making her the longest shot of the board. She's on the front end here, leading by a length. But up on the outside, here comes Avitris, and Avitris looking to retake the lead now. Along the rail of three, it's Jade's Happy. Out of the outside, Queenship drafting with cover here is fourth. Inside five to Primanetta and Nippy Hanover. Now coming into the contention of the outside, racing a sixth. At the three quarters at one, 32 and one. Into the final turn they go, and with the lead, it's Tudor's Treasure. But on the outside, Avitress takes that lead away. Queenship right at her heels is poised to strike three wide. As they turn for home, they've lost an eighth of a mile ago. Avitress clinging to the lead. Outside is Queenship, and Queenship here is shifting gears. But Avitress is right there to the inside. Avitress is staying game. Avitress looks her in the eye. It's Queenship. These two noses apart, but it's Queenship in deep stretch. Here is the official winner of the second race, number five, Queenship. This just a two-year-old daughter of the world champion sire, Jake Lobel from Ramada, Hanover. By J.D. Bernat of Wilmington, Chip Noble trains and drives. This is the first lifetime win for the uh, two-year-old uh, filly in her second career start, pacing the mile 202 and a three-fifths. Here's how they finished in the second, the one favorite, Madam Seven, Jates Happy Three, Tudor's Treasure Eight, Nippy Hanover Four, Queenship the winner, Prima.